Howdy folks, welcome to episode 33, and I think these things are just growing now, which is pretty cool. There they go, there they go, yeah, they're popping up now. So I get to pick these again, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we got another round of fiber, and so yeah, between this episode and episode 32, I did do a 32 and a half where we did some cleanup and a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of checking out the environment and everything and so I flew out and found that there are plants that you can actually that you can actually uh, get so that's why I have a chainsaw in my hand you can actually get wood on this planet because there's been a new update between now and the last episode and in that update so we have one two three four eight nine hundred and twenty fiber now we have a ton of fiber but anyway so what we discovered was, yeah, that you can get some wood logs, which are here. Because in the last update, what they did was they added solar panels and force field blocks. And they also changed it so that the, let me see the ammo here. I'll show you. Like the pistol ammo now takes NC powder. NC powder, all these take NC powder, if you notice there. And so the NC powder is actually this right here. And it's made from plant fibers and plant fibers are now made from wood logs. And so yeah, we have North Carolina powder. I wonder if they're gonna change this to like Kentucky jelly, right? So, <laughs> you know, if they're naming them all after states. But anyway, <laughs> it kind of looks like the plastic. That's gonna be, it's not quite so bad, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I believe somebody said it's nitrocellulose, so, but, but anyway, that's the new replacement for gunpowder, and they also did, let me check real quickly, the other ammo now takes pentaxid, that's going to be horrible, there's like five pentaxid uh, crystals on, in the universe, so I'm not sure why they decided to do that instead of promethium, but anyway, we're going to do is we are going to take I think take out some of these growing plots and start putting them upstairs and uh, well I need to yeah I need to get this stuff worked out first so let's go back in the constructor here let's do this let's go in the advanced constructor and we're gonna grab this stuff here okay and so we have a repair bay that's one thing we need to do and then we're gonna check out these solar panels and the solar capacitor and so let's see let's do this we don't need paint right now and we can make room there and so yeah the other thing we need to do is we need to make water we need to put down a water generator and oxygen generator and so we're actually gonna have to go to another planet in order to do that but um, yeah let's get this done first so the other thing I did was I made this tube and it's just a simple it's just a simple, it's concrete blocks, it's nothing special. It's just a tube I put up so that we can walk between the basement and the bay for right now because it was, um, yeah, we're getting like radiated fog and fire rain and stuff like that. And I don't want to try running between there and end up dying because I, you know, tripped or something stupid. So anyway, we're going to, we're going to put up let me see here. I need some of these blocks. We're going to put up a couple of these and we're going to put in the repair bay. So why don't we just put that right in the middle here. So we're going to do this and then we're going to take out this block here. So we're going to take that out and we're going to put in the repair bay here like that. And so that should be sealed still believe the repair bay seals yes okay and so yeah now we have a repair bay in here because this thing is just beat up check out the <laughs> all this stuff there yeah it is super beat up and so yeah we're gonna we're gonna do this we're gonna take let me see can I back off just a little bit here we're gonna take this so yeah what I found out is that like I said you can you can do the um, here we go, let's turn this off and let's see if it'll repair. There we go. Okay. So what you can do is there are plants that you can get wood from, and so we're gonna eventually end up taking out the 
the hovercraft and let me see we're going to take out the hovercraft and we're going to get some of those they're not right here so i can't show you right away but the thing we want to do right now is i want to set up some solar panels and i need to decide where i want to put those and so the trick with that is that you want them to be perpendicular to the sun to the sun rays and so you basically you want them pointing at the sun and i believe we are we are toward the north no we're fairly close to the equator so i mean we're a little bit north of the equator but the equator is about right here so we're not too far off but um yeah i don't know i think maybe we are closer than than that but anyway i'm going to figure out a place to put those and I'm thinking I might even make just like a tower out here to put them on. So why don't we do something like this. We're going to do a an attach to. Whoops, not that. We're going to do an attach to here. Connect to new home. Okay, and we're going to do these cubes. And yeah, I'm just trying to decide where I want to put them. I might even put them on things coming up this way. And we can decide later if we want to move them or something. But, yeah, I might even just lay them out in the open or whatever, but I kind of want them on a stand of some sort. And so why don't we do, yeah, why don't we see if we can put them up here a little bit. And we could even do some kind of decorative thing. So let's see, if we put these shapes here, like this, and... Let's see, because these things are, you have three by five. Okay, so I need an odd, I need an odd sized thing. I need an odd sized pillar. If I do an even sized pillar, it's gonna look stupid. And so I think we're gonna do this. And let me check the structural integrity here. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of wondering if this is gonna be a good idea to put these on top of this as we're building, <laughs> right? And so, yeah, I think what we can do is, okay, we can take out this corner. We're gonna replace this corner with these, with these. So we're gonna do this and like that. And yeah, I think we can leave that one there. And so we're gonna do this. No, I will take that one out because it's gonna look silly. There we go. Okay, so we can do, did that just change colors or is it just me? So we can do this so that we have our green all the way up like that. We can go up a few more blocks. Let's, let's go up maybe five blocks like that. And then we're going to do this all the way up. And oh man, it, the lightning hit just as I was letting go of the block and I was thinking I crumbled something. Okay, let's do that. And because I think this will hold up fine because of the corners supporting it and stuff, I think. And we'll get another thing like this. They really need some different, like, they need almost like procedurally generated lightning sounds or something because these lightning sounds are going to get extremely repetitive. <laughs> Hearing the exactly the same lightning sounds over and over and over. But uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so now we have a pedestal to put our our first set of solar panels, and I kind of want to go out from there. So we could do something like this. We can put a couple on, one or two on the top here. Let's see, how big are these again? I want the flat ones. So we're going to do the flat ones like that. And so, yeah, if I put like five on each... Then that will get our get us our twenty, and so why don't I do this right? Get this on the middle like that, and then we can put a block out from here. Yeah, we'll do. Let's see. We'll get another set of blocks here, so we're not using up our our other stack. And so yeah, what we can do is let's see this. And we're gonna come down here maybe and do 
Let's see, I should even use some of the... It would almost be cool to use the, the what are they called? Not girders. The, um, <laughs> the, uh, the thingy blocks. <laughs> the, I can't remember what they're called now, but the ones that have the holes in them. The truss blocks is the word I'm looking for. As soon as I stop trying to think of what the word is, that's when I remember it. But, yeah, so we could probably even use some truss blocks or something like that. It might look kind of cool, but let's see how we can do, how far we can get with this. And see if we can put on a solar panel here. And we can do something like this. I think that looks okay. I think that's going to look okay. And so, yeah, let me do the rest of these. And let me see, what is that? Four out? One, two, three out. Okay. So we're going to go one, two, three, and two, and one. And I could even like, you know, put up a symmetry axis to make that faster if I wanted to, right? But uh, yeah, let me get the rest of this done right here and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I just heard something break. I don't know what broke, but I know I heard something break. It played that sound. What what broke? I still have oxygen here. What is going on? Why is it playing that sound? Okay. Because it's showing me everything is green. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, let me finish the rest of this up. Okay. So now we have these four. I, it looks like I could even put something on the end there. No, I can't. I can't fit it there, but I could fit something here. So let's do this. Let me see. We'll do something like that, maybe. Make it look like they're attached on there, right? And like that. Okay, so that's the first thing. And let's turn this off. And I'm not really sure where it broke anything. But yeah, that is our first solar panels. And on these edges somewhere, where are they? Here we go. So on these sides are the <clears throat> the LEDs, which show what kind of uh, efficiency they have and everything, and they're, none of them are lit. So I will have to check out. I think it's because I don't have the capacitor in yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, and we're going to put in the capacitor, and I think we can put that in this corner. I really need a light, don't I? Do I have a light on me? Yes, I have a light block on me. I'm going to put a light block on me because this is ridiculous having a giant dark spot in the corner here. So we're going to put this one. Oh, cool. They've got new lights. They've got new lights. Awesome. That's another thing they've added. They've added a corner light. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's get rid of this thing. Let's turn this on. We'll get rid of this thing. Okay, and now we can put on a corner light. I think we're going to need to put in the capacitor here, so let's put in, I think it'll fit there, that's fine. Oh, that is cool. Okay. So let's do this. Let's increase the range. And that's kind of interesting. So it does like, it's like directional almost, it, it seems. But uh, anyway, okay. So yeah, let's do the capacitor here. I don't know which side looks like it is a kind of front or anything like that but let's see is this thing this thing doesn't do radiation or heat or anything okay so now that we have that we should have on our main there we go so we're getting zero obviously because it's night it looks like we're going to get 129 k watts average so we're not going to get a whole lot on this planet and i can quadruple that so we're going to get maybe what 500 a little over 500 and 540 something like that per day on the average so it's not going to be super ridiculous uh, um, as far as that goes, but I mean that'll be that'll offset most of what we're using as basic power anyway. And just in case anybody uh, is curious about it, you cannot, um, as far as the battery goes, you cannot transfer the battery into 
fuel or anything. So if you have an overage here, it just fills up the battery. And once the battery's full, you're just basically, it's just not doing anything. It's not like you can convert that into fuel and use that to fuel something else or anything like that. So here is the finished and I kind of wish they would, I'm not sure why they did it this way. I kind of wish they would make it so that it would, you know, sit flush because that kind of looks silly. Let me see if this will sit. Let me see, what is it, this block here? Let me see if this will sit. No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work because that's not wide enough. Okay, nope, that's not going to do it. But anyway, that is our solar panels. And so the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to check out these force fields. And so I do need to figure out how to, because we're gonna grow plants in here. We wanna make this a big garden. And I also wanna seal this in because we can then walk between our two segments of the base. And I just want this to be a big open indoor area instead of sneaking around like a rodent during the you know, Cretaceous period or whatever, <laughs> right? And so we're gonna take these blocks here and we're gonna seal off let me see, do I want to do there or do I want to do it? I think I want to do it on this row. So we're going to seal off here for five and here. And then I think we're going to try our cool new emitters. Where did they go? Our force field emitter blocks. And let's see, we're going to try, do they have a, they have a three by five. Okay, so this is five tall and that's five. And so do we want the emitter on this side? Do I want the emitter on this side? And let me see, that'll do one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And I think we're gonna have a space in the middle. So let's see, is that gonna, is that gonna fit the way I want it to? Let me see. Yeah, it's gonna fit there. I'm just trying to decide whether I want it there or there. And I'm thinking I want it on this side. So we're going to do this and whoops, did I put that in the wrong spot? I did put it in the wrong spot. So we're going to do that and that and that. And then we're going to put some sort of posts here. I'd like to have something round, but you can't do it in a single block, which is unfortunate. And maybe even do something like, well, I can't do that really because that's not gonna fit. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I could really do for right now. I, th I think I'm just gonna stick with the cubes for right now and I will figure out the decoration later. So we're gonna put these in here and here. I'm gonna take that one out or I can rotate. No, I can't rotate it because it's because it's multi-block, isn't it? I can't. I can't just rotate this, can I? Maybe, maybe, wait, right there? No, nope, it's not gonna let me rotate. It lets me, it tells me I'm gonna rotate, but it doesn't let me actually rotate. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna put this one in here, like that. Okay, so now this is a big wall, and we have that much going for us, which is nice. <laughs> and I think we're gonna end up having to put something like that across here too. We're gonna have to seal this edge. Why is there damage right there? Oh, I'll bet somebody was shooting at my base. One of those plasma drones got close enough. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure out where to put the other force field emitters, but that's really cool. And they have them, they go up to five by 11. So let me see, would that, cause that's three, six, seven, eight, nine nine would go all the way to the center. So yeah, I couldn't put two of them across there. There's a three by nine, but not a five by nine. So I could do a thing down there and then put walls across the top too. But I kind of like it like this and I'm gonna end up putting doors in here too, I think. Or maybe not, cause you can just walk through that anyway. You don't need doors, That the whole thing is a door, right? So it's adorable. That's, yeah, okay, worst pun ever. Um, <laughs> Let's see if we can put up, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna seal this side. And so I wanted to actually put windows in here. Do I still have the windows on me? I have eight left, I have one left. I thought I made like a hundred windows or something. Let me see if we have those in the base parts. No, we have 
Yeah, we have seven seven window blocks left. Yeah, I didn't do that yet. That's that's what I was looking for was trust block trust blocks too. So let me double check, and we don't have any in the output there, and I didn't put any in there because I cleaned that out. Yeah, I don't think I have any, so I'm gonna have to make some more and figure that out later. I don't want to bore you guys with crafting right now so I do need to get this wall up and probably put at least this row here and so we'll do this and get some of this some of this put out here Let's see if we can get this expanded out because I was gonna make another sort of room out this way from here and so why don't we just get that put in place and then we can put our wall up whoops the reason I didn't want to build this all the way up to the edge is that the critters can now, if they spawn out here, they can actually just walk onto my base, which is <laughs> kind of a problem. So let me do this. Apparently I jumped up the wrong way. Here, let's get this on here. And we'll do that. And then we'll put our wall out here. So we're going to put a wall out this way. And probably, can we get down there? Yeah. So this way, there we go. And up this way, let me double check and make sure I get this underneath here, like that. And then we can put this wall here. I just wanna get this so that it's not like a death trap with, like I said, with critters coming up. So we're gonna do this, whoops, like that, get it into the ground. And we're gonna go across and down, down, like that. Okay, so now we're actually blocked in. We don't have to worry about critters coming out there. And so what I wanna do is seal in this. I am gonna to have to put these across here. So let's see, how many blocks is this? This is, let me get the paint gun and we will color across so that we can figure out what we're doing here. So we have Let's see, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's eight and eight. Was there a, let me see. Was there a, there's a three by nine and a three by five. Yeah, they need more sizes. This is, <laughs> this is not, this is not working the way I wanted to. Okay, we need more sizes. And let me see if, what if I do, if I do with three by nine, it's gonna go past the center, isn't it? Because I said it was eight. And let me see. Yeah, it's gonna go past the center. And so I'm gonna have to do three by five. And so if I do three by five, it's gonna go to there one, two, three, four, five. So that's gonna cover those five blocks, right? Let's do this. That's gonna be our first one. And let's see, this is gonna be our one, two, three, four, five. And then let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. So we need a six here, right? We need a six. They need odd numbered blocks or something. And let me see. Because if we do three by five there, three by five, yeah, this is an odd thing too. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out that wall later. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put up another wall here. And let me see, I think we're just gonna get it sealed off. So let's put this across here. We'll get, and like I said, we can punch it out later and figure out what we want to do when we're done sealing up this room. But I just want to get this garden, basically. <laughs> I just want to get the garden going. And we will have to see what our things are doing too, our solar panels are doing now too. So let me get this across here. And then we're going to, that's the other thing I need to do is I need to figure out how to get this roof sealed across there it's going to be interesting doing that <clears throat> so yeah i've got like fifty thousand tasks 
<laughs> that I need to do. This is not going to be a short series. I can tell you that much. And <clears throat> so we're going to try to... Let me see. We're going to try to get this going across here. And maybe I'll even just seal this up for right now and we can put in... I think we're going to do that. We can just put in some... We can put in some force fields once we get different sizes or whatever. I assume they're going to add some more. And we'll see what we can do. Or maybe we can punch out some holes and put archways or doors or something. But yeah, that's not going to... Is it fire rain? Nice. It's fire rain there right now. And so let me see. Because I do want to... Again, I don't want this just to be a bunch of rectangles. Why is it not showing me where it's going? I don't want this to be a bunch of rectangles, but I do want this room to be sealed for now. And I need to figure out... Let me see what we can do for a roof. And we're going to need to go two here. Yeah, we're going to need to go two here. And maybe do something like this. And is that going to... That's not going to... That's not going to work. So we're going to have to go like this and put these up and do this. I just need to watch out again for structural integrity because it's such a huge build. Okay, those are all the way into the ground. They're solid green. And so, yeah, I'm going to need to put some, some more of this into the middle. Is that going to work? I'm going to have to put one here. And... Let's do the cylinders this time. So we're going to put in these. And I'm going to have to put another one in there. Right? Is it that spot? Is it this spot right here? I think it's that spot. Let me double check. Yeah, it's there and there. Okay, so we're going to put these up here. And let me see. Yeah, that's already getting kind of dark there. So let's do this go in here and that's going to be at this intersection right this intersection there we go okay so hopefully that will strengthen it a little bit and let's see because the whole idea of putting these on is they're supposed to actually you know be increasing <laughs> increasing the strength of this not weakening it so yeah that's okay there and yeah, because if I pop a hole in that ceiling, I'm going to be exposing myself to 129 degrees because I'm standing in the hallway. So I do want to be careful there. But uh, yeah, we're going to do that and maybe even some of those here. And we'll get these so that we can support our roof with it. And then we're going to put the roof across. But... I think we are actually out of time for today, so I'm going to have to continue this in the next episode. And let me see, is that one here? Yeah, that one's here. So yeah, I'm going to have to continue this in the next episode, and we'll figure out how to do this roof across and at least get this sealed up. And like I said, I've got a million tasks, so we are going to be building and doing some stuff forever. And actually, I think before we build that, what we're going to do is, since we do need water and stuff, I'm going to take the we're going to take the CV over to Oskitune and we are going to put down some water generators so yeah I think that's going to be it for episode 33 join me in episode 34 to go see what Oskitune looks like and we will see you then later